Hi friends, welcome to the wrap up of our Enchanted album. Today we are going to finish up the book with pages 9, 10, and 11. And hopefully you've all been able to find all the product and you're working along and hopefully your albums are coming right along and you're having fun stamping and fussy cutting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you know what we're going to need for today's pages. We're going to need our brads, our jewels, our 6x6 six six paper pad, rub-ons, our uh, layered chipboard, our noteworthy. We're going to be using both sets of stamps again. The fairy tales, what's left, yours should be pretty much in pieces by now. What's left of our combo sticker the enchanted paper, the cutouts, and the 12 by 12 chipboard. And we are going to need one bell out of your layered dimensional stickers as well. So if you have everything together, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to start with page nine. And let me just tell you a couple little things. This worked out so perfect for Romy because her cute little niece's name is Elise. So she used the E from the love on the chipboard and then she used the and from together forever or forever and always. It's on the rub on and this is the and. So that worked out perfect for her. I will show you what I did in mine so that I still had an element right here, but I was able to use the initials of the couple that are in the photos. So when we get there, I'll show you that part. But So we're going to work on page 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then the back side that has that cute sticker with I love you in many different languages. So take out your page, and we've already done this side here that has the Cupid on it, and just make sure that you have your page the right way so that it's not upside down or anything, and we'll get started. So out of your 6x6 six six pad, we're going to have a piece of this dot that, uh, that is 2 and 3 fourths by 5 inches. And it actually goes on second. Sorry about that. So the back side, this is my enchanted paper, so the back side of it, the small dot, it is 4 and a half by 5 and 1 fourth. 4 and a half by 5 and 1 fourth. And then we'll do this one that was two and three fourths by five. All right, after that, you're going to want a small piece of the enchanted paper on the script side, and that is going to be one and a half by three. And we're going to place that about a half an inch in on this dotted paper and right down so that the corner meets the edge of the page. So about right there. And then out of your fairy tale paper, you're going to cut out this bracket that has the heart at the top. And we're going to place that guy so that he's almost to the top of the dot paper. And he leaves about three quarters of an inch of this white there. And if you didn't want to cut out this side of him, that's actually where your photo is going to go. So you could just cut out this half. So it's up to you, it, you know, if you like the fussy cutting or not. And um, well, first let me just tell you, this guy is in your cutouts, and you're going to cut him out. And same thing, I didn't cut the back of him because he's going to be under my photo as well. So you don't have to cut his, his whole thing out. Um, and then we're going to put the photo on top of that and then embellish. Um, but we were talking about fussy cutting in the office this morning, and it was funny because one of the girls was working on something in it required her to fussy cut and she said you know I didn't like this when I was in the second grade and I still don't like it now and it just got me to thinking and I thought that's hilarious because when I was in the second grade I loved it when we cut anything I so I think it's just a trait that you either have or you don't you like cutting or you don't like cutting um, I think probably more scrapbookers than not like the cutting but I still think those of us who like it are few and far between but that's okay. Uniqueness is what it's all about, right? Okay, so this picture is going to go 
it's actually going to hang just a little bit off down here in the corner. And you could choose where, how far in you want to go, how far out you want to go. I think maybe I'll bring my little knight in shining armor out just a little bit more so that he shows just a little bit more. So I'm going to place my guy about right there. Now this makes me sad that I am cutting off my heart, but I don't know what I'm going to do about that right now. So for now, that's how it's going to go. But this is uneven. Sorry, bear with me while I have a little OCD for a minute. And I know you think when something's shabby, why do you have OCD? I don't know. So there's our photo. Um, then we have this piece of chipboard that we're going to put down over the corner. And from the layered stickers, you're going to cut out a bell. Romy just did one bell. I'm going to go ahead and leave it two because mine is a wedding photo. So I'm just going to leave the two bells on there for here. And then this corner piece for right here. And then I'm going to show you what I did here in place of her E. I took this piece of Noteworthy and cut out that center part. And then I'm going to use letters from the combo sticker and put the initials of these guys, which are E and S. So I'm going to put those on there. Here's the one where I added red right here. So I cut out that circle. And then with my Noteworthy, I just cut out the E and K for these guys. And I popped those up so it had a little dimension. So that's what I did in place of this E that Romy did. So it's kind of up to you um, what you do right there. And then after, after I place those, the next thing I'm going to do is, or that would be the next thing to do would be to emboss here and in the corner and with the heart. I'm going to wait and I'm going to emboss the last three pages all at one time. So um, after you adhere this on, we'll move on to the next page. All right, and I forgot to mention that your rub-on that says forever it's going to go right here across the bottom of your photo. So just rub that guy on. And again, if you need to maneuver it so that it shows up better on your photo, that's the, that's the beauty of scrapbooking is that you can just make it your own. So there's my forever. And I'm actually, which, see what I did? I didn't do it very well because my F doesn't really show up on here. I was going to go over it with this glossy accents, but I can't really tell where the F is. I'm going to kind of guess. I think it goes along here and along here. Something like that. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to add my, my E and S for Eli, Eli and Savannah. All right. So there is that page minus the embossing, which I'm going to do at the very end, and I'll show the page to you again, and you'll also have a close of it down below the video. So moving on to the next page, the last page, but the inside of it. The first thing you're going to want for that page is a piece of that same dot, and you can't get it out of the same page, so you're going to have to use another page out of your 6x6 six six pad, this big dot right here. And it is going to be 3 and a half by 5 and a fourth. 3 and a half by 5 and a fourth. And then we're going to use a piece of the Enchanted on the notebook side again, and it is going to be 4 and a quarter by 5. 4 and a quarter by 5. 
So let's stick those two on. Make sure that you put the adhesive on the right side. I like to use a lot of adhesive because I want it to stick there. So we're going to start with the dot guy and he's going to go over to the left. Oops, look I had this the wrong way. It actually goes, the holes need to be on the left. And now I've stuck this to the table. All right, so he's gonna go right over by these two holes and he's gonna be pretty much centered. And then the, the script part is gonna go about two and a half dots in from this paper and further down towards the bottom. Okay, then you're gonna wanna cut out two more from the fairy tales, the brackets, and we have this square that has the rings inside, and then there's this bracket that just has the two flourishes, and I just cut out half of it because the bottom half is underneath stuff, right here, so I thought why cut if I didn't have to. So we've got those two pieces cut out from the fairy tales. So this piece, I'm actually going to kind of just bring it right out to the edge and have it just come a little bit above my white paper. And then my square, I'm going to have right below that guy. Right there. And now I'm ready for my photo. And just a reminder of the photos that I'm putting in are three and a half by four and a half. Some are vertical and some are horizontal, and the ones that are square are three and a half inches square. So this horizontal guy, I'm just gonna put him right there. And I'm just gonna kind of place him so that this cute little rose comes out. And actually, um, Romy has put in a little piece of a sticker to cover the rings because hers is more about family than wedding. But I'm going to go ahead and just leave it the rings because these are their, their wedding photos. And then you're going to want this flourish out of your chipboard, your 12 by 12 chipboard. And he's going to go down in the bottom corner. And just, I would just kind of make it so that he comes right to the edges of, on both sides because he's kind of just there bordering. And then we've got the cute top hat off the layered chipboard. And that is just going to go right on top of this other one. I love all the layering of flourishes that Romy did. And once you add the pearls and the glitter just to have all those layers, they're just gorgeous. Absolutely fun. Okay, so that's all for this page except for the embossing and I'll show you where she's got that. So we've got a heart and we've got the corner done up here and then a couple hearts over here that kind of overlap right onto that piece that we've cut out. So a heart, a corner, and then the overlapping hearts. So again I'll do those right at the end and show you. All right and now for the back cover we're gonna put this cute sticker on here and it has I love you in a bunch of different languages. So that's a fun, fun page we're going to work on. The first thing you're going to want is the back side of the Enchanted, which is that small dot again. And it is going to be five and a half by five and a fourth. And I need a new blade because don't you hate it when your paper gets hairy like that? I know you do, because I do too. So we're going to put that guy on. And he's basically just going to be centered in the page. Just center him right on. And then we want a piece of the dot, enchanted dot. And that guy is going to be three and a half by four and one fourth. Three and a half, four and one fourth. And he's going to be almost all the way over to the right. And then kind of up towards the top. So just about a half an inch from the edge of the small dot. And then just 
barely a touch down from the very top. And the pages aren't square. It, it gives you a false sense of what's straight. I'm just saying. All right, and then you want this guy from the Noteworthy. I don't know what you call him. A little burst of happiness is what I call him. And he's going to go right in the center. And then our last piece is off of your combo sticker. And it's that cute. I love you, I love you, I love you. And if I spoke different languages, I would say it in different languages, but I don't. And you'd all make fun of me if I tried. So I got that piece off of my 12 by 12. And I'm going to go ahead and put a brad right in the bottom and the top before I stick it on. So just let's put our brads right there and then we'll stick that on. All right, and one last little thing I want to show you on this before I emboss is, see here how she's got the four pieces of bling? Well, with these little borders, you just decide how many you want and then just cut between them and then you get the perfect little strand and you don't have to be too serious about you know, getting each little one there. So we just did two little strands of four on each side of that. And now you can go back and add your glossy accents and your glitter and your pearls. Um, I know I've talked about them before, but our cute friends at Viva sent us these. And last time we were working, I left some of this blobbed out on a sticker backing sheet. And you can pop them up and make your own pearls with it. I don't know if it's cost effective, but it was kind of fun to see it when I got back. Um, okay, so on this page you're going to want to emboss. Every corner is embossed. And then we've got a couple hearts right there. So we're going to go ahead and emboss those. And then, and then I'll come back and show you them all with the embossing and we'll put our book together. Alrighty, after you've finished your embossing, all that's left is to put the rings through it and your Enchanted album is done. So I'm going to show you mine. So I finished the embossing here and here. A couple of them I didn't emboss the hearts on because I'm going to put the blue to match his bow tie, this teal color. Um, so I'm going to add till hearts. So there's that. And then this one has embossing hearts in the two corners here and then a corner here. And then the last one has embossing on all of the corners and then the hearts right down here. And then I just took a, an ocean piece of paper and just embossed a bunch of hearts and then did a little fussy cutting and cut those out. And then I'm just gonna go through and add those throughout my album just to kind of tie in that color that's in their, in their pictures. Um, and then you just need to put the rings through and you will have an absolutely gorgeous enchanted album to sit on your coffee table or in your scrapbook room and share with people. And I think that they will enjoy looking through that and see all the detail and, and how much fun it is. And before we go, the most amazing thing happened. As we were sitting here doing this, they came up from downstairs with the package that just happened to be next month's album. So for April, we're going to be making the Country Garden album, and it just got here. So I'm just gonna kinda, I'm not gonna hold it too close because you just get a sneak peek. So I'm just gonna kinda give you a little sneak peek of that. And this was made by Juliana Michaels. And so that will be our next month's album. So Country country Garden, and we'll get you a list of everything you need, and we will post that. We'll send it out in an email blast. So if you're not on our email list, I believe you can sign up for that on our blog. Yes. And um, then you'll get an email reminding you and sending you, like, the, the supply list and stuff like that. So... I think that's it, and I will see you next week with our Country Garden album. Thanks, you guys. It's been fun. Bye.